Disgraced South Carolina attorney Alec Murdoch emotional in court as he stands trial for double murder. Horrendous, horrible, butchering. In opening statements, prosecutors describing the evidence they say will prove he shot his youngest son, Paul, first before killing his wife, Maggie, at their home back in June 2021. They were shot at close range and they did not have defensive wounds. Prosecutors laying out a case where cell phone data and video sent on Snapchat will play a major role, claiming the evidence puts Alec at the scene of the crime. He was there just minutes before with Maggie and Paul, just minutes before their cell phones go silent forever and ever. Despite what he told people, I was never at the kennels, the cell phones are going to show otherwise. The state also claiming Murdoch was seen with a blue raincoat or tarp that was covered in gunshot residue days after the murder, saying gunshot residue was also allegedly found in Murdoch's truck. Murdoch has pleaded not guilty. He didn't do it. He didn't kill Butcher, his son and, and wife. You know, there's no direct evidence. There's no eyewitness. There's no camera. There's no fingerprints. There's no forensics tying him to the crime. None. The defense argues a man who loved his family like Murdoch did could never kill them. Now stand up. Alec was the loving father of Paul and the loving husband of Maggie. You're not going to hear a single witness say that their relationship were anything other than loving. Alex's two brothers, sister and surviving son Buster, there, sitting behind him. His fate rests in the hands of 12 jurors, four white men, six white women, and two black women. And the defense revealing it plans to ask the judge to take those jurors to the crime scene. This is a trial that the judge is estimating could take weeks. Eva Pilgrim, ABC News, Walterboro, South Carolina. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.